Welcome back. I have Abby here with me today, and we're going to be talking more about stems. Stems are so much fun to talk about. In fact, we just really like talking about plants. And so we're going to talk about stems, and we're going to talk about the two different kinds of stems. And what you can see are both the same kind, but we have an example in this bigger pot that is the second kind. So we'll slide it out of the way while we get started. And we're going to talk about this. We'll start with the peace lily. So this is our peace lily, and here are some of the stems. What do you notice about the stems, Abby? They are soft and springy. Springy, flexible, and they're soft and they're green. So these type of stems that are green and flexible and Oh, springy is the word you use, are called herbaceous stems. Herbaceous stems are stems that are green and flexible and wet, you know, inside. If we open it up, it'd be pretty wet. Um, it's pretty like a moist stem. And so herbaceous stems are pretty cool. Herbaceous stems are plants, plants that have herbaceous stems are generally plants that grow for just one growing season. So a lot of the annuals that you grow in your garden have herbaceous stems. And plants that grow over more than one growing season, the new growth is usually green and herbaceous. And the other, the, the older stem is different. And we'll talk about that in just a second. So thinking about herbaceous stems, herbaceous stems don't really grow super tall. When you think about the plants in your garden that have herbaceous or green stems, they can grow kind of tall, right? They can grow about three feet, four feet sometimes on an herbaceous stem. But if you think about big plants, like trees and some shrubs and things like that, they have a different kind of stem. They have what's called a woody stem. And woody stems are our second type of stem we're gonna talk about. So herbaceous stems, a little label. Herbaceous stems are green, flexible, and, oh, sorry green, flexible, and juicy type stems. They're shorter than woody stems, and they generally are either showing the new growth on a plant or they're plants that just grow for one growing season. So I'm gonna set our herbaceous stem example out of our way. And we brought in, we have some tree cookies to talk about wood, woody stems because they're easy to look at. But what we noticed something this summer, this is our classroom pot with our avocado in it. What we noticed, and I'll take some pictures so you can see, we noticed that our avocado, see how it's got green stem here, but it's got brown stem here? Our avocado tree is turning from herbaceous stem into woody stem. It's pretty cool to see. So this avocado has been growing for about six years, and it started out just from an avocado pit that sprouted. And so it's had an herbaceous stem all the way up until this last year. And what we noticed is we had let the avocado live on our front porch where it was shaded and protected from the wind. And it grew on the front porch. And by the end of the summer, it had all those little woody patches on the stem. So that was pretty cool. We thought that somewhere. Yeah, we thought that that had been damaged. And then we realized that it was the bark worming. And bark is the first. Ooh, I didn't think about this. <laughs> showing you the tree cookie without having the camera close by. Um, bark is the first part that we're gonna talk about when we talk about woody stems. So this is a slice, we call this a tree cookie. It's a slice of a stem of a tree. And so you can see the bark on the outside and then you can see the layers or the rings on the inside. Oh, that's a good view right there. You can see the rings that are on the inside of the tree. Okay, I'm gonna switch our camera view. And I'm not sure what it's gonna look like. I have a lot of stuff on the table. Okay, we got a plant leaf in the way. There we go. <laughs> so here is a tree cookie. Here's another one actually too. We have two tree cookies here that we can look at. And so tree cookies are really cool. I know you're trying to square us up a little bit. There we go. So when we look at woody stems, there are some different parts that we can talk about. They have the woody stems have the same function as herbaceous stems, just all the same functions that we've been talking about. Woody stems hold the plant up to the sun so that the leaves can reach for the sun. They can, they transport the water from the roots to the leaves and they do really important things. The, the important work that they do, remember we we're talking about the transporting food and water through the stem. You can imagine how that happens in 
and an herbaceous stem because it's soft and juicy and you can see the water. But in this kind of stem, we can't see that. They, um, we saw how colored water moved through the tubes of an herbaceous stem when we looked at the celery plant. Those tubes were important for the plant, but those tubes are also part of the woody plant, but in, in a woody plant, they have a hard protection because animals and insects try to get into the stem and get to that water from the plant. And so we have to make sure that the, the stems that are trans, the part of the stem that's transporting the water and food is protected from animals and insects. And so woody stems have, have this bark on the outside that protects them, it's the protective covering. And bark is the protective covering of this stem. So on the outside, the dark layer, you can see it's peeled off right here, but this layer right here is the bark. And the work of bark is to protect the plant, to protect the stem from losing its food and moisture to animals. Okay, so when we look at this, we can see those layers that go around and around and around. The dark brown lines are the yearly layer of the tubes. So if you see like this darker, the darker lines there, those are those yearly tubes that are pro, like taking the water from the roots up to, this, up to the leaves. And so there's lighter wood and then a darker ring. And that darker ring is where the tubes are that transport food and water. The dark, la the dark layers are those tubes and the tubes inside the woody stem arrange themselves in rings as each new layer is added on the outside each year. And you can tell how old a tree is by counting how many rings, because each ring is one year's growth for the tree. And you can see like these are pretty fast growing rings. They're pretty close to, pretty far apart. They have good spacing. But if you look on this one, some of those layers are much closer together. So these one, this tree grew a little bit slower. This one's 11 years old. This one's, you think it's 11? Those, ooh, the, the rings on this side are really cool. You can actually see what are the rings of our table too. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna set this one out of the way so we can get our labels. So the bark is the outside layer. And when we look at this, here's our, we're doing woody, woody stems. And the bark is the outside layer. And when we think about these tubes, when we think about these tubes in there, we think about how they transport different things. So the tubes that carry the water are called xy xylem and xylem comes from the Greek xylon which means wood and so the layers the light layers that carry the water are called the xylem and the tubes that carry the food are called the phloem. Phloem comes to us from the Greeks phloa meaning bark. Another layer that the tree has that is really special is called the cambion and the cambion it means exchange and the cambion layer is that really dark layer right there that we can see, the layer right there. Um, the cambion mean, cambium means exchange. It comes from Latin, cambiare, meaning exchange. And the cambion is very special. It can act as an or phloem. The cambion can work, do both jobs. So it's really important if the plant needs more water, the cambium can act as xylem. If the plant needs to transport more food, it can act as phloem. That's really cool. Something else that's really cool is that uh, when you think about big trees, when, when we think about big trees, they're very strong and stable in, in, their, in the way they grow, but the wind still blows and the trees have to be able to sway in, in the wind or they would just break off. And so parts of these woody stems, the, the tubes that transport the xylem, the phloem, those tubes are, uh, have a little bit of elasticity or the ability to stretch. And that's why when you see the wind blowing through a forest, you can see the tall trees swaying in the wind. Something else that's pretty cool about plants or woody plants is that they have, they have another thing that's going on. They have uh, fungus that grows alongside or on the bark of the plant. And the, the fungus is important because the fungus can, sorry, there's a kitty coming into the view here. He likes to be here when we're doing lessons. Anyway, 
the fungus is important for the it's important to know about the fungus that grows on the tree not that it helps the tree what it does is it grows on the bark of the tree and it puts its roots into the bark layer and it can get to the food and water of the tree by attaching itself to the bark and so that doesn't necessarily doesn't necessarily harm the tree but it's something that's using the tree to meet its own needs maybe you've seen that we i know we've seen it when we've been hiking and we've seen different types of mosses and mushrooms and things growing on trees that <laughs> that we can see that symbiotic relationship where the tree is providing something to another plant and the other plant maybe is providing nutrients or something back to the tree it's pretty cool so today we talked about herbaceous and woody stems herbaceous stems are short uh, low growing plants that grow maybe just for a season or the new growth is herbaceous and woody stems are on plants and trees that grow very very long periods of time and very tall or big trees. Some trees, like the redwood forests in California, those trees can grow over 270 feet tall and they've been growing for a very long time, over 3,000 years. So, so woody stemmed plants can grow very, very long time and, for, and very large. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson on the two kinds of stems. Tiger says hi, mm -hmm. he was so excited to learn about stems today too. And we have more stem fun to share with you and we'll see you next time. Bye.